Hey guys, it's Sweet Left Draft. Today we're going to do the Kindle Fire video. Um, this is the Kindle Fire running CM10. And today I'm just going to be doing an overview of the Kindle Fire running CM10. Um, I'm going to be doing lots more of Kindle videos like Rooting Kindle or, you know, also like Twerp and stuff like that. Or, you know, such as this one, installing custom ROMs. So yeah, let's get into it. This is what it looks like, and I really like this ROM. This is my favorite ROM in the entire world, probably. Um, it's that good. They really made it nice. Um, what what I like about it is that they made the taskbar at the top this time, you know, so it's more, more, you know, Android version type. Uh, you know, you can got your power control here, uh, you can go from, you know, silent to vibrate right here, which is kind of useful since the Kindle does not have any of those physical buttons for the, the volume. Uh, you can go to settings from here as well, we'll just take a sneak peek at the settings. We've got Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data usage, more, launcher, lock off, all that good stuff, battery, you know, storage. Um, uh, it's just like, you know the CM8 or 9, I'm pretty sure, or even 7, um, you can go to your about tablet, all the stuff like Android version 4.1.1, kernel version 3.0.3.1, whatever, um, let me just get a better view at it, um, uh, Android version 4.1.1 and kernel version 3.0.3. Um, sorry, I had to kind of look at it to believe it, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's really nice, you know, the, the settings is really easy to use, you can just toggle on or off your Wi-Fi and you can put in your, you know, neck gear or whatever, but, <clears throat> uh, that's about all the settings, you know, you can go to your widgets and stuff, it's just like CM9 where you got your app, apps, you know, and then the widgets, you know, everything. So whatever widgets you purchase or, you know, freely download, they will pop up in, in here if they're a widget, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure that it doesn't matter if you save them to your SD card or something. I don't know. Some people were talking about that you have to save the widgets onto your SD card for them to work. But I'm not quite sure. Um, I don't know. I think I've been getting this widget and I don't even know if I saved it to my SD card or not. It's working, that's all I really care. Um, not quite sure what happens if you do that. Let me try. Alright, nothing happens if you uh, try to like pinch the screen. I guess not. Um, you know, you can get your w weather widget, your power control. You don't really need it on your um, de a desktop or home screen because you have one right here at the top of your uh, taskbar but you know if you want to save space then you don't really need it but if you're a guy like me that just just wants it there that, to make it look cool go for it uh that's it's quite nice i see no lag in this in this rom whatsoever this is probably the best rom i've ever seen with no lag uh it's really nice you know i can scroll the videos are video, uh, you know, Gmail to Gmail. It's just so nice. Um, you know, bad piggies and apps play just great. Um, you know, uh, it does support HD video, as I will show you. So, yeah, I'm not quite sure if it has, uh, if you can, God damn, if you can stream video I'm not quite sure but it does support HD video and I just go on the video like the Minecraft video uh, um, the only problem I've seen with it so far is and this has only happened to me like four times is that the ROM or the, not the ROM the the YouTube it like the video keeps going, but the the audio doesn't keep up with it either. 
or it uh, doesn't go at all. The audio just turns off. And that's such a easy fix. Um, let me just show you guys in landscape mode um, what you do. You just kind of go like that, and then I usually go like that, and then I pause it if it if it if the video keeps on going and the sound still doesn't come on. And then after I do that, it always comes on. I've never ever had the problem where it never just comes on with the the ROM I got. Um, so yeah. Uh, as you guys can see, it's supporting HD right now. Let me show this better to you guys. So right there, it says HD. My camera can focus. There we go. And if I turn that HD off, it still works. Um, I have not played the sound right now. So, yeah. But as you guys can see, the quality is, is still pretty good, even without HD. But it's a lot better with with HD sorry for the camera not focusing so well but yeah you know it's great for great for just an average you know Android look I see no problem whatsoever I really want to try streaming video but I don't know like a website to stream video or whatever so I'm not quite sure about that I'm pretty sure it, it probably does support streaming video but I'm not quite sure most ROMs don't at this point actually so it may not maybe they fixed it I don't know um you know shows a little like a bar right there what page you're on and whatnot so yeah what I wish they added for the Kindle Fire specifically is that on CM9 I'm pretty sure in 8 I think so maybe uh you could uh, adjust this, the volume right there and it was like a little scroller since the Kindle Fire does not have any physical buttons for the for the volume which means basically you can't really adjust the video without an app uh, the app right now that I have is volume control right here but the stupid thing about this is I have to open the app every time um, every time I uh, with reboot uh, or power off, and you know, it's 99.9% .9 of the time I forget, so it's kind of annoying, but it's better than nothing. I definitely like this ROM better than any other that the Android makers or XDA developers have made. The CM9 just pissed, ticked me off so much. Uh, the, the problem I had with that was, um, I see right there it's a little you know, volume cranker that's just an average little app but yeah uh, the thing I had with the CM9 is it wouldn't detect the battery like it wouldn't start charging this one has no problem whatsoever I plug it in it will start charging and I can still use my Kindle while it's charging CM9 if you're out of battery you're screwed you can't use your Kindle Fire at the spot while charging because you need to leave it there for a while to to get it charged up because it said it still thinks that it's not charging but it, it really is and so when it doesn't detect it doesn't detect that you're actually charging it just turns off and like yeah you can't use your kindle basically um also the problem was oh my god it it was so stupid because like if you left your kindle um I just had so many problems with the CM9. It wasn't even worth changing. Uh, I would have, I, if if this hadn't come out, I would have changed back to Kindle Fire stock just on its own. Sorry for the phone, but yeah, um, it wouldn't turn off. Like it, I I'd have to push the power button again and again just to turn it off. So yeah, um, thanks for watching, guys, and comment, rate, subscribe.